So it looks like this is a pair of sneakers you don't see every day. In front of me is the Mosh Runner Mixed Berry colorway. That's right. Shout out to my friend Dan Gamash. If you don't know who Dan Gamash is, he is Mosh Customs. He does a lot of custom cleats for NFL players. He does a lot of custom sneakers in general. You've probably seen Complex post him so many times. BR Kicks, Nice Kicks. All the sneaker blogs post his work a ton of times. He works with a lot of athletes. And this is his newest colorway that he is dropping. This is available for pre-orders right now as we speak. Uh, there is a link in his bio. And yeah, just shout out to him for sending these over. Uh, he's been wanting to send over a pair of the Mosh Runners for the longest. But, you know, obviously he's a busy guy. He's running his own business. And it also, you know, on top of doing custom sneakers and cleats for clients, he's also doing his own sneaker. This is built from the ground up. Everything is original. The sole of the shoe to the upper to the materials. He sourced everything. Um, so, yeah, uh, I... Obviously, in the beginning, he was building the shoes out by himself, but I'm sure he has a, a production company now or works with a, a factory or a manufacturer to mass produce the shoes now. That's why it's still pre-orders. Again, it's still pretty niche, but hopefully he'll pick up momentum and uh, he won't have to do custom sneakers. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what his business model is, but maybe that's just his bread and butter. He'll, he'll forever do custom shoes for clients. But I just want to give you a look at these. The packaging is incredible. This actually reminds me of a yogurt that I always get. You know, a mixed berry yogurt flavor. Uh, you got raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries, I believe. Uh, so, yeah. This is Mosh Gang. Always fresh. Mixed berries. No preservatives. Rich in vitamin C. 100% organic. Inside the box, you have this... Tissue paper, outdone by none, and then Masha's um, signature or autograph. And then there's also a collectible sneaker card. This is the Mosh Runner Mixed Berry Edition. Mosh Gang. And then, look at that, huh? All the different colorways that he dropped in the past. And, uh, yeah, just a quick look right there. So, so the sneakers came inside this huge bag it kind of reminds me of the, the puma cheetos uh scoop sneakers so i'll just leave that there in a box there yeah it goes all the way around but yeah there's some premium materials here i believe this is a suede mud guard uh you got some type of uh i don't even know what this is but it's pretty soft on the tongue uh i will say though it does bleed onto the shoelaces a little bit this purple or pink uh, I'd say it's a pink but yeah it's, it's bleeding onto the laces which is fine because you know when you wear it it's gonna bleed regardless you got this I don't even know this is almost like a, a golf course green on the back speckled midsoles it's like lavender pinkish uh, maybe even violet autograph on the outsoles see if i can put this together bam there you go that's his signature logo again everything is original built from the ground up outsole midsole i don't know what kind of technology is used in this but i'm sure it's some type of soft cushion or foam to provide comfortability this is a lifestyle shoe so you know, I don't expect you to run in these, even though it is a mosh runner, right? That's the name of the shoe. But again, this is lifestyle. It has the mixed berry sock liner inside there. Oh, look at this tongue. It's got a, like a, I don't even know what this material is. It's not suede, but it's like soft and it's almost like a teddy bear. Teddy bear tongue. <laughs> uh, you got the uh, little X stitches. Right here, perforated holes on the side panels. I've tried these on. They they are roomy on the toe in the toe area, but not crazy roomy where you have to go down a half size. 
So if you are curious about these, which I think this is an incredible colorway, to be honest with you. All right, here you have it. On feet, uh, disregard the, the pants. These are my sleeping pants, pajama pants. So, you know, I got to be comfortable when I'm at the crib. But, yeah, this is uh, how it looks on feet. Probably not the best example of being on feet because I have on a wide camera angle lens. But there you go. Not bad, huh? Very comfortable, to be honest with you. Boom. Go through the size. Comfy boys. Go through the size, okay? I have wide feet, and I feel like there's some wiggle room on the top. Not in the front, but like on the top of the, the toe, which is fine. That's what I like. So I went through the size on these, and yeah, I recommend you going through the size as well. Uh, they are pre-order. I'm not sure what the price point is. Uh, I could easily look it up on my phone, but I don't want to cut off the camera. So if you're interested in a pair, go check out his website. The price point will be listed over there. You could also read up on the materials, different type of materials he's used. Hell, you, there, there might be some other colorways available. I'm not too sure. But again, this is probably the seventh colorway that he's dropped. Let me count the colorways. Yes, the seventh colorway. We are right here. Now, again, I don't know if Mosh is going to see this video, but I am very critical on minute details. And one thing that irks me, and not, not saying it's his fault, but one thing that irks me is the sizing of the graphics. This sneaker, the most recent one, Mixberry, is a little bit larger than the other cartoon images and that just kind of irks me a little bit <sighs> whoever designed a card i just wish you would just make every single sneaker matching size it just throws me off it's it's so predominant there it's so noticeable but yeah again nobody's perfect in this world so we're just gonna have to live with it again always appreciate the love not only are you supporting an individual creator but also you could wear these to some of those big corporate events because they're not really a competitive brand. So if I got invited to, I don't know, let's say an Under Armour event and I don't have any casual Under Armour shoes because again, most likely the general population is probably not buying uh, casual lifestyle Under Armour shoes. Uh, no, no disrespect. I mean, the, the, I'm just speaking from honest opinion. I can wear something like this to the event. I mean, I have Under Armour basketball shoes, but I don't want to wear basketball shoes outside. Uh, I like to keep it for on the court. So, yeah, again, shout out to Mosh. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.